selling artists on our label. Little did I know, he was going to be one of the best selling artists of all time. skyrocketed to the top of the charts and stayed there for 100 weeks, earning himself a Grammy for Best Rap Album, Best Rap Solo Performance. And can you believe, after promoting violence to little children, killing his daughter's mother, this guy still had more shit to get off his chest? And then the sophomore album comes out, right? Um, the Marshall Mathers LP drops. On that album alone, his alter ego, Slim Shady, tied me up in the basement. <laughs> he had sex with his mother. <laughs> killed his daughter's mother again. <laughs> while proceeding to offend about every special interest group we had. <laughs> it clearly struck a chord and became one of the fastest selling albums in United States history. Eminem would go on to overdose, relapse, recover, and not only on his albums in real life, let me tell you something. This guy goes through a lot of shit just to get a concept for a song. <laughs> but here's Eminem's genius. With his incredible wit and wild imagination, he was able to hold a mirror up to white America while also expressing pain through poverty and dysfunctional families devoid of hope. Eminem brought hip hop to middle America and offered kids who looked like him a way to connect to him. 